Hey, and welcome back to another episode of the Fedora Studio for Fedora Linux 41. Uh, this is part of a series we're doing, talking to various contributors and people involved with the Fedora community as part of the release to talk about what we've been up to in the last six months. And today I'm happy to be here with Troy Dawson, who is a longtime Fedora contributor and, uh, and as well as some other communities too. Uh, but you may have seen him around Fedora since 2011. Uh, and he had a big role in the scientific Linux community before and was a big part of uh, moving packages from scientific Linux to the Apple 5 ecosystem at the time. And on top of that, he's also a member of the KDE SIG. And today he's here to talk about one of the uh, new changes that we had in Fedora Linux 41 on this KDE Plasma mobile spin, which has been uh, the first time we're offering this as a ISO file that anybody can download and install on release day. So with that, uh, thanks Troy for being here with us and sitting down and talking about the KDE Plasma mobile. So first I think let's start from the basics here. You know, For a lot of people, when they're thinking of the Linux desktop, they're thinking of a laptop or a desktop computer. But I know there's been a lot of moving, you know, everyone knows Android is Linux and that mobile has a has a place here. But this is the first time I think we're really seeing more of a like uh, the Linux desktop environment family kind of going into the mobile space. So why don't we start from the basics? And can you introduce us a little bit to what this uh, what this new spin is is trying to do? Um, yes, uh, thank you, Justin. Um, a lot of people, when, the, when they're thinking about the mobile space, they're thinking mainly your phones, and they're very familiar, like you said, with Android, I, I, whatever the Mac is. Um, but they're not really a good Linux things. With the Plasma Mobile, with KDE Plasma Mobile, uh, we're giving you a real desktop, but with that familiar mobile, mobile layout. I have a demo here that shows it so that we can see, you know, what are the similarities between this mobile and things like Android, as well as, you know, Fedora, KDE desktop. Do you mind if I play it? Yeah, let's go for it. All right, let's do this. While I'm setting up, let me tell people that I found out when I was doing this that, um, Although I'm doing screenshots of of the desktop, they were being taken at about one per second or maybe once every half seconds. So it's gonna look a little jerky. And that's not meaning that the Plasma Mobile thing is jerky, it's that my video is jerky. So let's let's look at it. So this is the Fedora 41 Plasma Mobile desktop. Let's give her a play here. Um, the first thing I want to look at is what happens when you pull down on the right. I, again, that was a little jerkier than I want. We're going to see what happens when a notification comes up. You see here, we got this nice, I should highlight with the mouse, notification thing on the, on the thing. Uh, let's get the notification out of the way. But what happens if we're doing something like playing music? Uh, I'm going to start up a, a thing. Now you'll notice as I'm pulling up apps, you're only seeing the one app, very similar to Android and stuff. Oh, look, we got our, our music up. I am a K-pop fan. Um, for those of you who want to know. So we can actually control our music like this. Now, if you run an Android or, or whatever, you're like, well, of course I can do that. And that's why I'm showing that. So you can say, yeah, it's very similar to what it was before. You'll notice three little buttons on the bottom. Oh, but not when I move my mouse. Oh, I forgot this one. So also very similar to Android if and iPhone. If you've got all these icons on the thing, you can move them around and put them into your folders. And this is, again, I'm just using my finger as I'm doing this. It's recorded. Um, Let's pull something off of the main thing and put it in that same folder. The emoji selector, I, I don't know. It's it's a happy icon, so I've got to use it. We're going to drag that over into our folder. And then just, again, like any other phone, 
you can go ahead and click on it and it will run. Let me try that again. There we are. I was doing it too fast. And we want to close it. You'll see three buttons on the bottom. I, want, I was going to mention that before. There's a little square. There's something in the middle. I don't know what that is. A KDE icon and an X. Uh, we're going to show next the we're going the middle one is what pulls up all your apps, and you keep seeing that in this video. I should have ran through this video before I gave you the demo because I wanted to open up several apps real quick. Uh, that one, I came from the folder. This one, I pushed the middle button and I started another app. Let's, let's do one more app. Uh, I think we're gonna pick task, not task info, the info center. Okay, so now we got a few apps running on our on our mobile thing. And how do you switch between them and how do you want to close them and stuff like that? This is very similar. This is where you push the left button. It's hard to see on the video, but you, you have your little app thing. You can move it back and forth, check and see which one. Um, but let's try closing one. There's three ways to close them. You can swipe it up. This one I did very slowly. You don't have to do it very slowly, but I did it because I things look better. You have this little button. If you're on the phone, it's hard to hit this little button, which is why swiping up is good. But we're going to close this one by doing the button. Now, the third one is there's three buttons. Oh, there's our keyboard, which comes up. That third one is the little X. It's high. If I move my mouse, you can't see it. It's the little X. Uh, closing that will close your application. Um, that's all I have for this video. I really just wanted to give you a taste of it, not go through all the apps. But um, that way you get a nice taste of what we're talking about when we're talking about Plasma Mobile. We're trying to make it like a phone. You know, it has all the things, and it, it works very well on the phone or a tablet. But... It is real Fedora. It has a terminal. It has, you can install whatever Fedora app you want on it. So. This is the first time I'm really uh, seeing this. And, you know, I've always been, you know, tablets aren't anything new, but I've always been a laptop. Like I like having my keyboard and, and having that, but actually seeing this kind of is tempting me to like go out and get a, get a tablet and something that I could put this on because it's like, it does seem really, I, I mean, of course, Fedora Linux, that's my bias. But uh, it'd be really nice to have this as a, another option, you know, as things. I haven't thought about tablets a lot just because sometimes you can't find Linux if you're not, unless it's Android. So, and of course, different limitations there. So this is really interesting to me. And actually, this is the first time I'm, I'm seeing it and uh, getting to see it as the final spin that's uh, been put together. So that was really cool. And I think with the remainder of some of the time we have left, we can talk a little bit on what this KDE SIG has been up to to put this together. Because like I said at this beginning, you know, this is the first time that this is being offered as a spin. There's been a lot of work happening, I think, behind the scenes for quite a couple of releases. But this is the first time that the entire spin is being delivered as a new ISO. So maybe could you tell us a little bit on like what is the KDE SIG uh, thinking about these days with the Plasma Mobile? And is there, uh, you know, thing about hardware, is there, there's so many different options out there and it feels like everyone is trying to come up with some new ARM thing. So how does that fit into the planning and the work that goes into making the spin? Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned hardware because at the beginning that was one of the slowdowns. Um, people were trying to do, do it on phones Sorry, the battery's dead on this one. But, um, and we were trying to target the Pine phone and, and and that, but that's just one hardware. And at, and at some point we, we realized we are a software SIG. Let's target the soft uh, hardware that works, that Fedora works on. So that's where we came up. So this one is one of my favorites. This is a Microsoft Surface. Fedora runs fine on this. Now I have to admit, 
Uh, now everything is in the kernel yet, so the touch screen for this has to uh, and look so so that you know things aren't really slow and choppy. Uh, so very nice. So once we decided, hey, let's just target things that Fedora works on and develop the software. And once we did that, things started progressing really much quick, much more quickly. Um, another thing of hardware is, so the surface, you can yank off the thing. This is like a, a Lenovo Yoga. And this one is, oh, I touched the keyboard before I had it closed. Um, but uh, this one, I've got, sorry, it's a little dark. Uh, yeah, now I can yank on the keyboard. Let's brighten it up. Oh, come here, brighten. Come here, you. Brighten. There's a Brighton tab there. It works. There we go. I'm just being too there quick. Um, nice. But this one is stock Fedora. When I first bought it, it was having some issues, but I found out that I bought it like three months after it was released and there wasn't some things in the kernel. Mm. But once we started not worrying about the hardware and worrying about the software, we were able to make some progress. We are, there is still many bugs. We are not ready for like an addition or anything like that. Um, one of the biggest bugs, if you watch my flock presentation, is that if you change the ratio, uh, the touch screen doesn't really change the ratio with you. So mm -hmm. if you want to see some really bad footage, watch that. But it, it shows that bug really well. Um, so all there those is, recordings from Flock are also out on our YouTube channel too. So folks can dive in and see all the content that we had at Flock, our contributor conference back in August. And it, it was a really good one. So anyway, uh, we, we are progressing very well. There is still bugs. We are still working through things, but that's part of being a spin. Um, we are not a blocking spin. We are a spin that is working towards getting better and better. But it is in a working state right now. I like to use it on, on my tablets. My, my um, this one is, it's nice and bright and it's got high resolution and it works really good. It's my favorite. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we need to have one of these devices off on show at the next flock, have it at the registration desk and have let folks be able to play around with it too. That would be really we, cool. We could do that. I'd, I'd bring this one. This one's made for students and it's heavy duty. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what you're going to want from a, especially the, you know, tester yeah. QA team folks that we have, <laughs> they will uh, also get a chance to play around with it too. Well, yeah. I know we're at the, about the end of our time slot here. So I figure before we wrap up, let's, uh, where can folks go to find out more about the KDE Plasma mobile spin? Uh, download it or maybe even show up and help out with things in the KDE SIG. So with the new... Fedora website. We are under the spins section. We are the newest spin, and you'll notice this on the far right. Uh, we have a nice web page there uh, when you click on that, and you can download from there. Uh, we, the Fedora Mobile, Plasma Mobile meets with the KDE SIG on our weekly KDE SIG meeting. So we can go there, and also the uh, matrix channel, got to double check where the matrix, um, Fedora KDE matrix channel, um, that, that's just the name. So that is, what is the name of the matrix channel? Yeah. Anyway, anywhere you can do the Fedora KDE, uh, you can do the Fedora, Fedora Plasma Mobile. All right. I'll make sure to put links both to this page that's here. I just uh, walked or went on over to the uh, KDE mobile desktop spin on the fedoraproject.org website. So I'll make sure these links are in the video description, uh, as well as some places to check out more about the KDE SIG and get involved and uh, help out with shaping this to be an awesome spin for Fedora users uh, playing around on the mobile devices. So I'm excited for this. 
And thanks, Troy, for spending the time with us on the studio. And we'll see you in the Fedora Linux 42 release cycle. All righty. Thank you very much, Justin. We'll see you all.